Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to talk about open circuits and short circuits. An open circuit is a circuit that is connected to a voltage source, but has the two terminals A and B, which are connected to either end of the voltage source. They're not connected, and there's nothing connecting the two terminals. In other words, there's no way in which current can flow from A to B. In essence, an open circuit provides an infinite amount of resistance to the current flow. Therefore, I in Ohm's law is equal to V divided by R. And if R, the resistance, reaches infinity, then V divided by infinity is zero. Therefore, there's no current in an open circuit. A short circuit is the opposite of an open circuit. Between the terminals A and B that are connected to the voltage source, we have simply a wire, a conducting path that offers zero or very nearly zero resistance. For all intents and purposes, we can call it zero. As R approaches zero, using Ohm's law, V divided by R, we replace R by zero, and now V divided by zero approaches infinity as R approaches zero. Now, of course, we can't have infinite current. There's no way that any voltage source could provide infinite current. It may seem that way near, near a power plant where many, many, current, many uh, thousands of amps of current can be provided. There's still a limit. It's never infinite. But a short circuit can provide a lot of problems for any sort of environment. On a small circuit board, if there's a short circuit, too much current can enter into the circuit board and any components connected to that open circuit can receive too much current. And since the power dissipated by any device is equal to I squared R, when I bit gets to be really large, so much heat is generated, so much current goes to the, to the element that it can simply burn up, as we call it, or simply be destroyed by the uh, additional current or the excessive current flowing to the circuit. In a household circuit, we have what we call circuit breakers. If for some reason we connect the positive to the negative by a wire or by a screwdriver or by some sort of accident or simply any sort of fault in the device or any sort of fault in a plug, so that in essence we now have a situation where there's no resistance between the two terminals A and B, a lot of current can flow, which again can cause considerable danger inside a household circuit. And therefore, circuits can then heat up too much and when they heat up too much, they can provide a fire danger or a danger to any person coming near them. And therefore, we have circuit breakers who in immediately notice such an excess of current and will simply stop the current from flowing through the circuit. In small devices, in any kind of radios or televisions or any kind of uh, electrical equipment, we typically put in something similar to a circuit breaker. It's called a fuse. A fuse is a wire that may be connected to the power source of the, uh, of the circuit board in such a way that if too much current flows through that wire, it tends to be very small, thin wire, the additional heat generating the wire will simply break the wire and open the circuit. Then we go from a short circuit to an open circuit and it stops the current from flowing. Short circuits are definitely a problem in any sort of circuitry and we try to put in devices to protect us from the dangers of short circuits. We simply do that by opening them up and not allowing any additional current to flow. That is the difference between an open circuit and a closed circuit or I should say an open circuit and a short circuit.